Who are you, Dion? I'm Cal Quinn's eldest son. I'm a, I'm a pastor at Ustar Church. Sure, but who do you want to be? Who is Dion Quinn? I feel like Dion Quinn asks himself that question every second of the day. I think that he is someone who has spent so much time trying to work out who he should be and who people expect him to be that I don't think that he's ever really stopped and spent any time to work out who he wants to be, who he'd like to be, or who he actually is. I think he'd like to be senior pastor and he'd like to be Cal Quinn, he'd like to be his dad. But the truth of the matter is, I'm not entirely sure, A, whether or not he'd be good at that, and more importantly, B, whether or not that would be a position that would be very good or healthy for him. It's very hard to hear you these days, mate, when your head's this far up Dad's ass. I was really interested in what it meant to be the wife of the eldest son who was also a pastor and for her to be incredibly ambitious on his behalf but also ambitious herself within the church. Dion is actually the senior pastor. He runs the Bible college. Taz is very much the CEO of the family. She's very concerned with appearances. And we decided long ago that Taz is basically the person who has bought all of Dion's clothes. I, I don't need fashion advice. Okay, okay. They have a sort of similar look for them. It's all the trappings of the position they're in, the house they live in, again, the car they drive, the schools that their children are sent to. And Part of that enormous desire for control also leads to dysfunction. And I think that's what's really exciting is that we start to see the cracks that inevitably form when you spreadsheet your life, which I'm sure Taz does. I'm really interested in the duplicity that exists in, in people, especially in the characters. In this show, I was really interested in the face or the mask that we put on for the world and who we might truly be inside. So that's a wonderful thing to kind of play with as well.